today at 5. There's two things I want to do as a kid. Join the military and work in Hollywood. A special SEAL Team edition of Veterans Voices on CBS2 News at 5. Imagine being stripped of everything you've ever wanted to be, everything you've worked for in an instant. Unfortunately for many of our soldiers, that nightmare is the reality. Army veteran Tyler Gray was forced to face that reality and find a new purpose. He fought through the pain and found his new dream in Hollywood. I wore camouflage probably, you know, three days out of the week. I was obsessed with Rambo and G.I. Joe. You name something military, I was into it. It was just something that I had to do from as long as I can remember. For veteran Tyler Gray, the decision to serve was easy, and choosing the Army may have been even easier. I hate water, I hate the ocean. I don't even like the beach. I just look at it and I'm like, I could probably make a solid argument that Jaws ruined the water for me as a kid. Once Tyler knew that he'd be on land, he flourished and quickly advanced to the 75th Ranger Regiment, 2nd Battalion. I loved my time in Ranger Battalion. I absolutely loved it. But you got to constantly challenge yourself. I planned on making a career out of it. Then in an instant, everything changed. I was in Sadr City, Iraq um, on a nighttime raid and I got blown up. The explosion annihilated Tyler's arm. He was forced to medically retire. It's crazy how things can change in uh, a millisecond. If that was your life and that was your identity, who are you when, what does your life mean when you can no longer do that job? And that kind of broke my brain. It completely changed who I thought I was. It took Tyler several years to find his footing, but he did and it took him to Hollywood. I didn't know what I wanted to do in the industry. I just knew I wanted to work in the industry. You start anywhere you can and work your way up and understand the, the way the machine works. Tyler did just that and eventually found his way onto the CBS hit show SEAL Team as an advisor, an actor, and now a director. And action. We had talked a little bit about him possibly wanting to direct. I really felt like he was somebody that we, we, sh we should give a shot to and that he would do a great job. Oh, the camera's also He was not somebody trying to be a director. He was actually directing, and I was really uh, proud of him. There was two things I wanted to do as a kid, join the military and work in Hollywood. I'm lucky that when one ended, I was able to try and pursue the other one. Oh, so you're the one that's afraid of water. Mm -mm. I'm scared of water. The standard is 100%, 100% of the time. I was very lucky to have kind of learned that from the military and, and bringing that over to Hollywood. Cut! If, if you give 100%, people will create opportunities for you. Well, you gave more than that, sir. Thank you so much for your service. You can catch Tyler's SEAL Team directing debut tonight on CBS2 at 9 p.m. And if you're a veteran or you know of a veteran who has an interesting story or needs help, we want to hear from you. Just email us at Veterans Voices.